Okay, so now we're at the high strike for breakfast after the MSR sale, and then we're gonna show you all the things that we bought at MSR. Right, Joe? Yeah. It's gonna be a sweet, sweet gear review. It's a video. <laughs> Damn. Joe's been here since 0430. Since the beginning of time. So we're inside the MSR. There's stuff everywhere though. Okay, so we um, we're making this video about a gear haul that we we got. We went to the MSR. Uh, so it's a Cascade Designs annual warehouse sale. Warehouse sale. Um, where they have up to eighty percent off of gear. So it can be yeah, brand new. It might be samples, uh, maybe something that was irregularly made. So um, it's pretty pretty great brands, all locally made. You know, really. Yeah. So we're gonna show you what we picked up. Um, so starting off, I think most people are really excited about the sale is uh, the snowshoes. And so they had a huge variety of snowshoes. Uh, the best of the lot, I think Justin won here, or not won, Chug out here. They are the Lightning Explorers. Um, I cannot say more about MSR snowshoes. Uh, I have the Lightning Ascents, uh, but yeah, this was a fantastic deal. Uh, the ones, the Lightning regular ones go over 200, um, and these were just 85 bucks. Yeah. So pretty awesome deal. All right, so next in the, the game of uh, great deals, probably this one. That there's yeah. actually excitement by the people working in the warehouse towards this one. Yeah, they were and talking this, this up pretty good. Was the Thermosess Neo Air all season regular with pump. Is that gonna focus? Yeah. There you go. So this one, this is uh, uh, 21 ounces. It's an R value of almost five. Uh, so a really strong R value at 4.9. Um, it's two and a half inches thick has the pump and so they were really I heard multiple uh, folks at the warehouse talking about this particular uh, sleeping pad and uh, uh, they're like oh if that was the one I was gonna get we get that I want to say that it normally retails for 150 to 175 I'd have to look it up to, to know for sure and I think it was on sale for 35 bucks yeah 35 so just can't can't miss it uh, another fun item I picked up for myself was the uh, ultralight compact one person cook set but the great thing about this is the size of it as just a one person um, and it comes with like the comes with the pot uh, you also have come with a cup and then a holder to, so it's a perfect lightweight option uh, for the solo backpack so waterproof 10 liter bags um, and these are just two dollars they've got this air i've not seen this i don't think we knew that it had these when we got it but it has this uh air purge so when it's you can actually like it'll let air out instead of so when you're trying to shrink your bag down hopefully that's cool speaking of bags we got more diddy bags so again they're just two dollars um these are just uh, two liter bags we're gonna use them for a variety of things. Um, for different reasons, you don't wanna weigh down your bag. Well, it's a personal preference with all these little bags, but just for organization. So I think Justin here was thinking maybe this would be a great option. Holding snacks for the day. Um, I was thinking maybe of using this as well, just to hold my medical kit, uh, as well as maybe another one just for my electronics. Um, just to keep things organized, especially when you're backpacking. And then the next option here, we have our forks. Uh, MSR again, you know, just, Gotta get your, gotta get the gear, gotta get your gadgets here so you're gonna slip, you know, condense it there. Makes it easier for when you're on trail and maybe you need, you know, a little fork there with your ramen. So. For your pad thai. Yep. Backpack to pantry. Yep. So the next option to be here, we've got the core tent stakes. Uh, so they're ultra light core stakes. Um, so you could get a pack of four for $2. And I think Justin looked up online, um, pretty. Normally 34, 35 bucks for a four pack. And these are, they're carbon fiber centers that make them strong, wrapped in a thin sheath of aluminum with aluminum head, so they're ultra light. Um, so we're pretty stoked about that. We bought four, three packs of them, uh, three packs, so 12 stakes total to round out our, our kit. Yeah. So this is a self-inflating Thermarest uh, seat pad, and been using uh, a cut up, an extra thick cut up. Um, yoga mat which is a great you know you can go to your uh, thrift store or whatever and pick something up like that uh, for a seat pad on trail but this was pretty inexpensive and that's that uh, yoga mat had really started to compress and so this is 
Um, pretty lightweight and self-inflating and packs down pretty decent. So not too big, not too small, but it self-inflates. So when you're on trail, you can just find a place to sit down, let this thing self-inflate, and you're good to go. So Another really great deal we have the Thermarest Z-Lite. Uh, I have one of these. I love it. I've had it for years, but Justin got this one, and this was a great deal, just $5 here. Um, and I think it's part of just yeah, being part of that warehouse sale. It's actually what, is it a military? Yeah, it says it's a military Z-Lite sold. Yeah, so not something we normally see in the regular retail store, but uh, yeah, it's yeah. an awesome product. And then the last in your car camping luxury lifestyle here is a Thermarest compression pillow. Obviously not compressed right now, but make some yeah. sweet, sweet sleep. Pretty excited about this. I used to just take my dry clothes and put them into a clean stuff sack and use that for a pillow. Totally works, uh, but this being something that was super inexpensive and won't take up much space when it's compressed, figured, what the heck, let's have a decent pillow. So we'll see how that goes. I feel like we're trying to discover the gear as we're on as camera. As we're on camera, yeah, we don't know. We just got it. We just got it, it was a frenzy. We just grabbed all the things. So that's it. So that's pretty much the, the, the gear haul. We thought it'd be fun to try to put a little video together. Uh, as you hike, you find that you need different things and you try a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So finding a good bargain when you can uh, is always, is always uh, much appreciated on your pocketbook. So I um, hope you get a kick out of some of those items. We'll probably link up so you can see what they are kind of thing. Uh, anything else we need to add? Let you notify you when they uh, run it next year in November. It's usually like, yep. Yeah, if you live Second in Second weekend in November, come on down. Yeah. Or it's worth maybe uh, driving on. Drive from Idaho? I don't know. Not about that. All right. That's in there, so. Yeah. Uh, what she said. Sometimes you gotta check the viewfinder. Before you wreck yourself. Okay. Are we even in the shot? Yeah, I'm in the shot. You need to have a strong outtake reel, Justin. I don't understand. We have differences in creativity. Is this going to be my channel? This is your channel. Or is this our channel later on? This is something. <laughs> Do it. And redo. Uh, and I figure you could have like the links where people can like... But you wouldn't really tell people that it's so cheap. And then be like, here's these links. You can go to buy at full price. And this is where you look. I know, this one being natural. Right now. <laughs>